Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss MCQ is Hypertensive patient presents with one day history of headache, ataxia, vomiting and drowsiness and down beating nystagmus. What is the probable diagnosis? And these are the options. Let us understand the clinical scenario. A hypertensive patient presents with one day history means acute onset, headache, vomiting, ataxia, drowsiness, down beating nystagmus. Let us understand importance of hypertension. Chronic hypertension causes degenerative changes in small penetrating arteries. These vessels commonly rupture in basal ganglia, thalamus, pons, cerebellum. This immediately raises suspicion of hypertensive intracerebral or intraparenchymal hemorrhage. Symptoms. If we correlate it with anatomy, there is ataxia, indicates cerebellar involvement, seen in cerebellar infarcts or hemorrhage. Downbeating nystagmus, strongly localizes to cerebellar, vermis or flocculonodular lobe. Rare in cortical or meningeal bleeds. Vomiting plus headache due to raised intracranial pressure. Common in posterior fossa hemorrhages. Then drowsiness. Compression of the brainstem or fourth ventricles. Seen in expanding cerebellar bleeds. All these signs points toward a intraparenchymal hemorrhage. So here the correct answer is intraparenchymal hemorrhage. Thank you so much.